I want us to look at an example that we just did. We just did 40 over 90, and I think it was pretty easy to see how we reduced that. They both are a multiple of 10, so I could take that factor out. But I want you to look at what 40 looks like over here in terms of its prime factorization. 40 is 4 times 10, 4 breaks down as 2 times 2, and 10 breaks down as 2 times 5. These are your prime factors. You can't go any further with that. And similarly, 90 breaks down as 9 times 10. 9 breaks down as 3 times 3, and the 10 breaks down as 2 times 5. So I want to take these prime factorizations that I see right here, and I'm going to rewrite my fraction. 40, I'm going to rewrite as his prime fact factorization with three factors of two and a factor of five. I'm going to rewrite 90 as three times three times two times five. When everything is written in terms of multiplication, and again, this is something we're going to see when you go on to 0308 and 0310, so don't forget what we talk about right now. When you reduce a fraction, you look for a factor that's common in the numerator and one that's common in the denominator. Do you see something that's common to both the numerator and denominator here? What do you see that's common? There's a, there's a 5 that's common, right? So what's 5 over 5? This guy is equal to 1, so I'm going to, we say, sometimes you guys say cancel, but what we're doing is that we're reducing that. It's a factor of 1. If I multiply times 1, does that change anything? No, if I multiplied your age times 1, which might be scary for some, but it doesn't really matter, right? Still the same. Well, look here, you also have 2 over 2. What's 2 divided by 2? This is also a factor of 1. Now notice, when you reduce these, you reduce it 1 to 1. You can't do, you can't use this 2 down here to cancel with all of the 2's up top. It's a 1 to 1 relationship. One to one right here. Can I reduce the two with the three? No. So then what we're left with is two times two, which is four, over three times three, which is nine. And that's what we have. Now, when we had looked at the I think we also had 72 over 84. If I did a factor tree out on the side for these guys, 72 is 8 times 9. Now, is that the only way to break down 72? No, it's just one way. 8 is 2 times 4, so there's a prime number, and 4 is 2 times 2. 9 breaks down as 3 times 3, and both of these guys are prime. And for the 84, suppose you didn't see a good way of breaking this down, but you know 2 goes in here 42 times. And maybe you want to keep using the 2. 2 goes in here 21 times. And the 21 breaks down as 3 times 7. So what I'm doing here is I'm just doing prime factorizations out on the side, nothing more. So I'm going to rewrite my fraction. 72 gets rewritten how? How many factors of 2 do I have? I have 3 factors of 2, 2 factors of 3, over, how about 84? That's 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. So how could I reduce it this way when I'm looking at the prime factorization? Do you see this pair of twos right here? So these guys reduce to give me a, a factor of one. What else can reduce? Three. There's a pri or there's a common factor of three right here, so that also gives me a factor of one. Is there anything else? There's another <coughs> common factor of two. Now is this two gonna cancel with the one on the left or the one on the right? It doesn't matter. 
No, it's important thing. So I'm going to have these guys cancel. Now look at what you have left. In the numerator, all the ones being multiplied together doesn't matter. What's one times one times one times one and so on? It's just one. So you really have to worry about two times three, which is what? In the denominator, you only have seven. This is how we reduce our fractions. Or at least this is one of the ways of doing it. But I wonder what would happen if I gave you something that was just a little bit more complicated looking. What if I gave you this? 5x squared y over 7xy. I can't even finish writing the problem before you guys start sighing and huffing. Why don't you go see like, the school nurse? I know she has like five sticks. Yeah. Now, I want you guys to see this is not as bad as you want it to be. You want it to be bad so you have a reason to complain, but watch this. Can you break down the number five here? No. Can you rewrite x squared? Yeah, that means you have two factors of x, right? And then you have a factor of 1. So that's what 5x squared y looks like when you completely expand that. And you look at it in terms of multiplication. Remember how we said 5 was a coefficient? And multiplication is what glues all of this stuff together. What about your denominator? What happens here? How could you rewrite that? Right, and I have three factors of y done here. What are your common factors that you can reduce? Just the x? So the x is reduced and one pair of the y's. So what's left in the numerator now? 5x over what? 7y to the second or 7y squared. Yeah. Now look at this. Is there a factor of 5 in the denominator? No. Is there a factor of x in the denominator? No. So you have written this guy in lowest terms. That looks like a good test question. Let's do another one of these just to make sure that you are, you're with me. 12x to the third y squared over 16x squared y squared. How can I rewrite my 12? I want to write everything in terms of its factors, broken down as small as possible. Right, if you think about, if you did a little factor tree on the side, you would see that 12 breaks down as 2 times 2 times 3. If you had done 2 times 6 or 3 times 4, okay? And then you have 3 factors of x and 2 factors of y. Do you all agree? Isn't that what x to the third means? You have 1, 2, 3 factors of x? Okay. 16. How do you rewrite 16? I heard 2 times 2 times 2. That gives me 8 times another factor of 2. Right? You have to have 4 factors of 2 there. I have 2 factors of x and I have 2 factors of y. And again, if you're not sure about what we have here for the 16, off to the side, if you did a factor tree, that's 4 times 4. And then each of these guys breaks down as 2 times 2. So you see you have 4 factors of 2. Now, how can you reduce this? What gets to cancel? Or what gets to reduce? 
these factors are two reduce, these reduce. Can I reduce anything else with the three and the two? Then what can you do? These guys reduce. Another pair of X's reduce. The Y's reduce and the Y's get to reduce again, right? When I cancel these or reduce them, do I get, or what do I get after I reduce that? It, like, like what's, you know, when I had two over two or Y over Y, what does that reduce to? No, it reduces to a, to a factor of one, right? I need you guys to understand that that gives you a factor of one and not zero. Okay. So what do I have left in the numerator? 3x and what's in the denominator? 2 times 2, no variable, so it's just 4. 